This is my computer tutor and I'm Kim Denise and this lesson is all about attachments using your Windows Live or your Hotmail account. What you're looking at is my step-by-step -step guides that's available in hardcover. So once you've watched this, if you would like a hardcover copy of the lesson, just contact me via my website. Here you'll have step-by-step, -step, you can see with graphics, pictures and explanations on how to do it. So you never have to strain to remember. You can just print it up and put it in your My Computer Tutor folder. But let's begin with a click-by-click -click guide of how to actually attach a file to a message in your Windows Live or your Hotmail account. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our Hotmail and we're going to be sitting in our inbox from here up the top you will see your menu and the very first item on the menu is new and we're just going to click on new because it's a new message and let's just click on it and wait when it opens up you will find that your email address is up the top and you also have a flashing cursor asking you to click in here and just type the name of the recipient. Now if they're in your contacts list you can just type the first letter and your email address will pop up and you just click on that. Now I'm just going to send it to myself. Yes folks, you can email yourself and that's a really groovy thing to do when you're learning with email. Just email yourself that way nobody knows what kind of booze that you make. Now in the subject line I'm just going to say practice sending an attachment. Yep. Next thing I'm going to do is actually just click onto the page and let the cursor flash on the page so I know where it is. So I always like to know where my cursor is. Now looking down the next one it's a bit of a no-brainer because it says insert attachments. Now I have other choices here for office docs and photos etc but right now I want to send you a brochure that I have made and it's sitting on my computer. So what I'm going to do is click on attachments and Hotmail and Windows Live will take me directly into my computer. How groovy is that? And it's actually sitting by chance and by luck at this point in time at my documents folder. Right? Now I've navigated to where it is within my documents folder and here is a brochure on my services that you've asked me for. So I click on that once. I can double click and it will automatically do it. But if you want to do, do it properly, just click on my services brochure, whichever document you have, and click on open. Now you wait and you watch the little green bar go across and that means that it's uploading. Watching and waiting. And then it goes done. Yay! Now we have a beautiful icon which will tell you what kind of document you've attached. In this instance it's an icon showing you that it is a Word document. Now what we, all we need to do now is type a quick message. Um, please find attached etc etc etc. Um, my my computer <laughs> services brochure, whatever. Okay, now, all we need to do now is come back up to this menu and here it has changed to send. Just click send and voila. Guys, you have just sent an attachment. Piece of paper attached to your message by a paper clip. Now, the, it says return to inbox. We'll do that in a minute, but what I want to show you is the sent items folder. This is very important. You want to check that it actually went because you're not always going to email yourselves, are you? So let's click on the sent items. Now you will find that under inbox and now you have all these folders come down to sent and left click just once. And here we go. We have a list of all the emails that I've sent. And here it tells you I've sent one with an attachment and there's your paper clip and I sent it to myself and the subject was practice sending an attachment 
and yes guys I work late it's 11 12 p.m. tonight now I want to check my message and make sure what I said because I mean it might be a week later and think oh gosh what did I say to Kim a week ago so I can open it up and I can see that I said please find attached da -de -da -de -da, and I can see the actual attachment there as well I can view it and or I can re download it and check out what it was yes um, the name of it is here this one's a little bit protracted because I've zoomed this right up so you can see clearly but it's saying my computer to services brochure and it's a docx type file that is that will change it depends on what you send if you sent a PDF a red and white one it would say dot PDF so there you have it you've seen what you've sent and you've confirmed that it actually went now let's do what it told us to do and go back to the inbox because we've sent it to ourselves and voila here it is this is how somebody would uh, receive it what it would look like to them yeah and they would double click to open it and there it is looking exactly the same so therein lies a very short lesson on how to send an attachment this is something that people have been crying to me to tell them how to do and I'm really happy that I've been able to show you visually and upload this video as I say I do many step-by-step -step guides and you can see different titles that you can um, ask me for I will be uploading more but uh, the web-based email accounts title this is a really good step-by-step -step guide and it talks about what they actually are and this one's all about um, Windows Live Essentials and all the different features etc and explains it in language that you can understand this is um, an introduction to Windows Live and what's a Windows Live ID there are all these confusing jargon that you find on the net how you sign up for Hotmail and Windows Live how you can choose a theme um, this talks about how you can make it personal and make it yours um, you can have all these different themes in the background I'm a computer tuner so I chose a computer theme it's just for me um, nobody else really sees it but I think it's fun and I believe in having fun how you actually add a contact manually to your Windows Live and you can see how graphic I am I like to have lovely big writing and big colored pictures um, and you're emailing sending new email messages uh, replying um, showing your CC and your BCC and what that all means etc and of course your step-by-step -step guide to attachments so thank you very much for watching please don't hesitate to call me um, contact me by my my website if you have any questions or concerns thank you very much because guys hey it's easy when you know how